Hello all, this is TechGeek311 here and welcome to my how to for installing iOS 7 on your iPhone and iPod Touch. Alright guys, today iOS 7 finally was released to the public. And what I'm going to show you guys is my how to video on installing the i the iOS 7 software on your iPhone and iPod Touches. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the Settings app and on the Settings app if you go down to where it says General you'll notice there's three tabs on the top. The second tab on the top says Software Update. When you tap on that, that's going to bring you into the iOS 7 update screen. From here, you can hit the download and install, but we're not going to do that right now. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the learn more. This will give you all the information you need to know about iOS 7. This tells you everything that's going to be updated on your device. It gives you all the information so you can read through this whole thing and see all the stuff that's going to be there. Now remember, this will not be everything that's going to be on the iPhone 4s or 4S and this will not be available for the fourth generation iPod Touches. This is going to be basically for the iPhone 5 and up we will get everything. So like if you go down here to the very bottom, it's a very long list. You'll see it says on the bottom, some features may not be available for all countries or all areas. So it depends on where you're uh, installing this from. So let's go back out. Now you can see on the iPhone 5 the update is showing 752 megabytes. So you must be on a good Wi-Fi connection because this will take you a good 35-40 minutes depending on Apple servers. Today Apple servers have been uh, bogged down with a ton of people updating so you might want to wait a couple hours uh, maybe wait the next day or so forth before you do it. Alright now before you're going to do this this update let's get right back out to your settings you need to do some things first it's going to scroll down here under privacy where you see iCloud. Under iCloud I'm going to scroll to the bottom you see storage and backup. This is very important. I know some of you guys do update through iTunes. Fine, go ahead and back it up through there. But you want to go under storage and backup. Make sure you have enough space. Scroll down to, the, to where it says backup now. From backup now you want to go ahead and, and hit that and back up everything as a fresh iCloud backup. Also make sure when you go under manage storage that everything you want to get backed up has been turned on. So you click on the name of your phone and you're going to go to your backup options and from backup options you want to make sure everything that you want to back up is, has the on symbol on it. That way you can make sure that everything has been backed up. So we go back out okay and that's iCloud. Now if you have certain apps that uh, need separate backups, go ahead and look into those app settings and go ahead and run those those backups for those apps on your computer, on your Mac, wherever, wherever you uh, have an external, even uh, send it to your email for backups. Alright, so basically that's what you need to do to get started. So, once you've done all that, you go into software update and then we go ahead and we're going to install iOS 7. Okay all, so we're ready to start the uh, download and install of iOS 7 on the iPhone 5. As soon as you pull that up, it's going to ask you to agree. You have a little agree button down here. It's going to pop up another agree, and you hit agree. You want to make sure that you are on a good Wi-Fi connection for this. Because the stronger your Wi-Fi connection is, the faster it will go through, and you won't have any other issues. Right now as you see what it's doing is it's giving you a time down. What it's going to do is it's going to start downloading the software from the Apple Center and once it does that it's going to prepare your iPhone, get it ready for the update and then it'll verify that update and then it'll go ahead and start.
Okay, now it's preparing the update. Now that I reached the end, it's going to get ready to auto install. So you don't have to actually press anything. You can press later if you don't have time to install it now. But as you can see, it will automatically verify the update. Your screen will go black and then you'll have some cog wheels on the top and bottom and you get the Apple symbol. Once you get the Apple symbol, it's going to start updating. Okay, this is your first cog signal here. You'll probably get another one that will go near the bottom and then you'll get the Apple symbol. Once you get the Apple symbol, you're going to get a line that will appear underneath it. Okay, there's your bottom cog. Now there's your line. This line has to fill up completely. Once it fills up, your screen goes black again. You'll get another Apple symbol and you'll get another one of these lines. That second line will fill up much quicker. At that point, the phone will automatically reboot. You'll get the Apple symbol and it'll bring us to the activation screen. Okay, now it's reached the end of part one. This is the first part. And pretty soon what you're going to do is the screen will uh, go black, show you the other Apple, and give you the second line. Okay, now the screen has gone black, then you're going to get the second apple, and you'll get a second line. This line will go a little bit faster than the previous one. Okay, now the phone's going to reboot, and then we'll start the activation screen. Okay, now we're ready to activate the phone. So you're going to put your passcode in if you have one. Okay, it's going to tell you that the update's complete. You're going to hit the button that says continue. It's going to ask you if you want to enable your location services. Now it's going to ask you for your Apple ID password. Okay, once you've entered that, hit next. It's going to update your iCloud settings. Now you set up the Find My iPhone, and now it brings you to your welcome screen. And there you go. Now you're fully set up. And now you can see that you have iOS 7 on your phone, and all your stuff is there. Alright, hope you guys liked this video, and as always, uh, go ahead and um, Give me a like below. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep an eye on my other how-to videos on how to use iOS 7. Thanks for watching.